everyone! Hey, welcome back! Welcome back. We just played the previous episode, so no time has passed. Um, yeah, for us. literally three minutes between episodes. Sounds like an obscure live performance in a dirty underground bunker. What does? Do we hear something? Do we read something that sounded like that? It was going to be that way. Goodness right. knows. Uh, we're going to go and try and talk to Sal and Noid. Yes. Um, and then maybe we'll try and find the... Uh, just what? coming this way so that I can teleport. At 2200, we want to do whatever that quest is. Yes. Cool. We're getting closer. Should we chat to a cell first? I feel like that might be slightly I more like straightforward. I like a cell so much. Do we have all of it? Is it conceptualization with her? No, it's not. It's one of the yellow ones. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Reaction, Reaction speed. speed. Let's That's see what we've unusual got. unusual one, actually. It is. Um, uh, do we have anything that's reaction speed? Um... I feel like we've got like a negative, maybe. Maybe a pant, like those sports pants we have. The maybe? sports pants might be, yeah. Um, How many of no. you who've played this more than once have got to the point where you know what all the things are? So you're like, I'll put on the th this thing. Yeah, that's a good I'd question. I'd love to know. You just just know it. Yeah, like I know mm. oh, a yeah. couple Was of them. Was that negative? Or yeah, there you go. Nice. I know a couple of them. Next playthrough. Yeah. We're not giving her a hat. No. I want that hat. I'm mad about it. What did it have on it? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. That's reaction speed on those. I pants. feel like it had. Um, I feel like it had. Uh, okay. Something blue. So. Go cool. beyond that. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Sal, what's up? Oh, well, let's go. Whew. It's white check. That's what we're trying to get through them. The silver yeah. bird has already flown away. We could put a point into reaction speed. Right. Yeah, let's do it. We've got so many points. Yeah. Bottom uh, metal. Metal. Bottom metal. Level up. Nice. Let's do it again. Hot cop. Okay. Here we go. Still bad chances, that but... still bad. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The silver bird has already <sighs> flown away. It's fine. Um, what does this give us again? Hmm. Mm. Until it caps raised. I don't want to get rid of that. I feel like it's going to be helpful at the end yeah, of the game. Yeah, it feels very specific, doesn't it? <laughs> Learning cap for perception raised to five. Mm. I wonder how that would work in this situation, because I'm pretty sure our perception is already higher than that. It is. So, mm. like, how... There are caps on them. The fact that it's quite... It is high. It's still got another three that we could put in there. Mm. Okay, let's check and ch check, 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 and chat with Noid. We can take this off. What does it do? Endurance white checks were unlocked back when we got it, and learning cap for endurance raised to four. And mm. we don't. I don't think we've got. Is there something you're wanting to you're wanting to think about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one that we read last time. Um. What was I just looking at? Endurance. Yeah, we've still got two spaces in there. Mm. You know, so it's not like it's... Mm -hmm. We'd lose anything. Mm. How do you feel? You okay with me taking it off? Sure. Where was it? I'm forgetting you! I'm putting this one on. Okay. Okay. Cool. It just makes me <laughs> feel. Did a, it feels did a happy little. Because we didn't have any other thoughts noid, processing. Noid, noid. Noid. Uh, it felt 
good to have something going in the background. Anyway. They've got us in, cop. I can't believe you got us in. He looks around the hall, examining the carpentry. With wonder in his sharp eyes. Uh. Between you and me, I don't oh. know if you've noticed this about me. I'm a little suspicious of authority. <laughs> you, you really came through for the hardcore underground. We're all about the anodic dance music. Yes, you really came through <laughs> for the hardcore underground. How come? Okay. Because I'm joining the universe together, Kim. What the fuck? <laughs> the would-be leader is cutting some futuristic shapes on the floor, sweating profusely. Good, great, good. A cell using her contact mic to listen to a tree underwater. It's beautiful. I like that they used the exact same animation for her, just inside. She's just inside the now. The one with the large head is blasting the dance track on repeat while the stained glass window behind him is rattling from the base. Yeah. Sire, the tent, t'was a security risk. And in here, sanctuary. T'was only noble of you. <laughs> uh, um, um. Oh, we are responding to Ken. I like the bottom option, which is I did it for mankind, for all of mankind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe you actually think you did it for all mankind, but whatever keeps you in high spirits is okay. <laughs> yes. I feel like, I feel like, um, like everything Kim says now is like, Every time he says something sassy to us, I can't help but remember that that check we had to do where we had like a plus plus one or plus two because Kim respects us. Yes. And so I'm like, yeah, you say what you like, Kim, but He's you cool. respect us. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Uh, Noid, what do you think about the church? It's a miracle of carpentry. Dead bodies carved into total shapes. Now it can be something more. He rubs his hands together. Um, oh, I'm hoping we're going to get to say all of these. What do you mean by dead bodies? I assume he means the, the, the dead trees. Oh, okay. I thought he was meaning, because there's some um, statues on, as we come in. Mm -mm. I thought he meant those. Can we say this, just in case we can't ask any of the other questions? <laughs> Why did you make that face? Because I want to ask about the deep bodies. Okay, okay, okay. You're allowed to why I ask the question. That's why I asked the question. Dead bodies are perennial plants. Yes. Sigma functions have left this place. It's a good thing we came along. The spiritual collapse has been total. Spiritual collapse? I saw some piglets suckling their dead mother. Have you heard this one, cop man? After a short while, they shuddered and went away. Oh. They had sensed that she could no longer see them and that she wasn't like them anymore. What they loved in their mother weren't her body, but whatever it was that made her body live. End of quote. Mm. This is an high-quality carcass. The power of anodic beats and hard bass is needed to reanimate it. Yeah, okay. Um... Yes, I mean, yes, I, I support this, Noid. Sorry, I was just rereading that quote because I I missed the part of the dead mother, and so I was like, wait, what, what? <laughs> um, what one did you like? I don't know, but what about first, where is that quote from? A Sarai's man who lived a long time ago, an ancient hardcore brother. <laughs> what you're saying is you're not a big fan of the innocentric system. A 3,000 year old tyrannical regime of history built and maintained by hundreds of generations of self-appointed intellectuals. It's false core. <laughs> right, so he's appreciating that they have taken over a church and, to and, the innocent. Yes. And, and the kind of metaphors associated with that. Yes. The way he says it, the force in false core is invested with 20 kilotons of disgust. Uh, you guys said the Ecclesiastes were all about love and hardcore before, remember? I only said unity. One word. <laughs> v 
figures of authority always misquote you. <laughs> he points to his friends. Okay, good. Andre doesn't care about the Ecclesiastes. He just wants the operation to run smoothly. And Egg is a demi-beast. You shouldn't listen to what people say. You should listen to what they are. Hmm. That's fair. Um, uh, and you propose d dance music will supplant the system. Anodic dance music. Regular dance music wasn't hard enough. And yes, I do. Beautiful. Okay, and we did get to come back to this, so I'm okay. going to get to ask my question about, you say this as a carpenter yourself, just because I'm interested in him, like, mm. I want to know more about him. I don't say much anything as a carpenter anymore. They tried to make me into a reckoner and a leveller. Made me a bit manic, you know. Okay, do you mean like a destroyer of things? I regret the time I dedicated to that profession and that worker collective. <sighs> I say things more as a member of the hardcore side dance community these days. Okay, I'm just gonna put that answer. Um, you're not gonna ask me how I knew? Why? You're a cop. I carry carpentry tools. Fair enough. Okay, does he? How old do you think this church is? Over 300 years? That's right. The first settlers built it, plus six more like it, on the coast here, was one of the first things they did. Must have been really scared of something. Yeah. But I understand. The hole. Alone on an uninhabited archipelago. Forced to face themselves and nature. Pre-industrial quantities of solitude. The sea. Perhaps something more fundamental. I really mm. like this. The hole this in the world. Little phrase here. Pre-industrial quantities of solitude. Mmm. Mm. He means something paranatural. He must... I would want to build a safe place for myself and my own as well. His voice echoes in the wooden cavern of the church. Something more fundamental. You mean the sound anomaly? Maybe. Maybe they were unable to face the nature of the world. Perishing. Mm. Uh, why? What style is this church built in? A cop who's in the building critique. Okay, then. This is folk DeLoreanism, lawmongerer. It's a subset of early DeLorean architecture. Huh. I'm an art cop. <laughs> I'm not just a, not a cop, I'm an art cop. Art of core. He nods appreciatively. <laughs> what is DeLorean architecture like? Total. Everything between an ancient concrete cathedral and a glass cube is DeLoreanism. This is just an homespun version of it. Folksy stuff. Early mass production. They made thousands like this. Does that help you out? What would a DeLorean building look like? Like that woman there. Vertical, thin, white, a false image of grandeur. The source of the system is up there. You're at the bottom. They really dug that power vertical. Mm. Like to show off large and intricate structures, arches, spires, put you down with them. They were really into painting everything white too. Virginal shit, you know. Marriage shit. Virtue and tyranny. Mm. Mm. What do you want to say? I want this one or the, or the bottom, bottom, bottom one, maybe? This church isn't painted white as far as I can tell. Stands to reason it used to be white on the outside before the sea wind took all the sure. paint off. It's been 300 years. That's more than enough time to yeah, take off, makes her, sense. off paint. Slowly. Peeled by the wind, your skin crawls from the sensation as you look around. So how do you like the glass work? Point to the stained glass window. I don't. Fuck, are giving me the evil eye. Oh. <laughs> Remember that um, Kim is pro-Delorealism, isn't he? He seemed quite respectful of it, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I don't know that he was so much pro the innocentric system as pro the concepts behind DeLoreanism. Mm. I don't know. It was hard to tell. It was hard to tell. And we don't have enough information about it, but... Um, you wanted to get inside the church and now you don't like the stained glass window. I didn't know it was in here. We <laughs> have to get rid of it. No. Dismantle it. Can't dance with a giant mass murderer looking well. at ya. Not a good look for the club. I mean, it's broken. That's kind of part of the vibe, right? Mellow man, mellow. No one's a mass murderer. 
This is a house of love. <sighs> Mass murder on the floor. <laughs> Thanks, Ike. Um, <laughs> who isn't accused of being a mass murderer these days? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, could I ask this one? Because of my aliens theory? Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, have we talked about this? Must have. I think I talked about my theory that the innocents are actually aliens. Or have come from another dimension in the same kind of way, you know? Yeah, like and, and I, like, I don't know. Like, my my brain is not... Ready to a, make that leap? No, but I, I love this. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> I investigate. Why. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the, the, the glowing lungs. Like, I feel like there have been a few stories about them where they've, like, got weird powers and stuff, and I'm yeah, like... Yeah, but I felt like those were... Aliens. You know, visiting parables or it's sliding through dimensions. Okay, you know, let's... and I know that it's it's worth believing folk legends because about glowing lungs. Let's go. <laughs> um, but what else did I want to say about that before we continue? There was something else in my mind. Um, so we do know that her, the innocence Dolores Day was behind a whole lot of war stuff. So the mass murderer mm. thing isn't incorrect. Potentially, but yeah. I, um, I do love that like, we just oh, so, like this is like the statue the thing all over again. Like I'm like, it's a it's the last part of a, a historic building, and they want to rip it down. Yeah, I think. Fuck. Let me get. Um, okay. Would, would you, you say, say that she was, she was you know, you know human? human? <laughs> I like this question, cop man. She did not live the life of a human. <sighs> She lived like someone who's playing a game. The life of an operator. Oh. Can we expand on that? Noise? I've got the biggest eyes right now because I'm like, <gasps> she, was, she, was, she, was, she was one of us. She was playing a video game. Uh. That's not the life that humans live. She was adored. Humans aren't. I don't know about you. But they hate me. Oh, no, they hate us they too. they do not think I'm innocent. No, they don't think we're innocent. some shit like that. Yeah, they hate us. Yes, they hate this. Hang on. I like the top one. Oh, I like the second one and the third one. No, I don't like the third one. Okay. What about the second one? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, I'll do what you want. They hate this too. Well... They loved her. They put all their love in her and forgot all about the rest of us. Hmm. The young man lets go of the suspenders and they hit his chest with a slap. Isn't she supposed... I'm looking at number six. Isn't she supposed to be an embodiment of the world spirit? The world spirit does not have a body. It has organs. Ardcore is an organ of the world spirit. He raises his left hand. This Arno Van Eichtrat is an organ. The carpentry and glass cutting that built this ass are also organs. She's a thief, if you ask me. An organ thief. All innocences are. Okay. I'm going to ask the top one because I just feel like this is one of those conversations where we get to ask mm, all the questions. We get to learn more about it. Because I yeah. think the main thing here is, like, we, we've we been plopped in this world and we really don't fully understand mm, like. mm. She's the innocence of hum humanis humanism. Humanism seems to be a pretty big deal around here. Humanism leads to eating sugar and pigs. Humanism was invented to mass produce billions of humans. Billions of humans can mass produce hundreds of billions of pigs. I'm in this like whole pig universe right now. And many, many more tons of sugar. She liked games. Her legacy, the thing we live in, isn't real life. It's a strategy for some kind of victory against a long dead opponent. But, yo, I'm only annoyed. What do I know? Mm. I guess I'll say this. She's she pretty. She invented the beauty you're feeling. She and her glass cutters and iconographers, you set the standard, all right? Mm. Then you meet it. It's effective like that, but it is also very soft of core. That so-called beauty of hers. Hmm. Oh, can I say this one? Yeah. 
Is anything but softcore is terrifying. Hmm. You may be onto something, Copper Man. She's got those mass murdering ips. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't accused of being a mass murderer these God days? The no one says Arno Van Eyck is a mass murderer. The anodic pioneer Reetfelt is not a mass murderer. <laughs> he is not accused of mass murder. <laughs> yeah, like most Likewise, people are not accused of mass no murder. No one says Jermaine Egged or Andre are mass murderers. You can live entirely outside that suspicion. Billions of people go about not being guilty of mass murder. Just not her. That's a very good statement. Yeah. No, it's got a got a. He's got lungs. He's I'm, got lungs. I'm, I'm knocking my head. Um, I'm no. gonna say this. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what he's referring to. I think she didn't. Didn't we get some background about her like moving a whole bunch of people forcibly? Okay, do you want me to not say it? Nah. Let's... I do feel like there's something terrifying about her. There is. She is a party repellent and must be taken down before we can begin partying in here. Mmm. I'm I'm happy for two or three. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm I'm happy with either of those as well. <sighs> Keep it. Keep the beautiful, sharp shards. Keep her long face and her hair. The speed freak's eyes narrow with suspicion, <laughs> as if he's looking at a man possessed. It's not coming down. People are gonna love it. It will be like oh. our thing. I Plus wanted it to the cold in the rain out. Yeah. I wanted to kind of like dig into that, like the fact that it's there, but it's also shattered, is kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done talking about her. I don't want to think about her anymore. What a strange choice of words. <laughs> Caustic. Overflowing with negativity. That can't be ooh, healthy. Ooh. What's happening here? Why do you keep coming back to this window? I don't know. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't come back to this anymore. Stop talking about it, please. How are you settling in? Oh, you want to do it? go back to it? Will it, will it be the murder. same? Okay. Okay. What? Okay. How are you settling Hard in? to say, cop man. Signs in here are distinctly wild. Gonna take a while before everything's properly synced. I did get to talk to the crab man. Oh, awesome. You mean Tiago? Anyway, he's been giving me kind of a psychic rundown of this place. Cool. Dude's seen some crazy shit, but he's actually a lot like us. You mean all his mother's love stuff isn't too spooky for you? Have you been listening to what Egg's been saying? Love is hardcore, man. And the mother's love is the hardest core of all. Hmm. It's true that Tiago did say he wasn't talking about Dolores Day when he was talking and about that, the love of the mother. That's true. The man picks up on stuff and he knows a lot about the church. I got a lot to learn from him. Good thing you didn't squash him. Hmm. Um, what did he tell you? Yeah. The crab man's been lurking here for a while. He's experienced things. Things that give off bad signs. As far as we can tell, the Ubies built this place about 320 years ago as a sarcophagus. Do you mean there are dead bodies here? But also... The Ubi's building it as a sarcophagus is very different to the narrative of the DeLoreans mm -hmm. building it, right? Mm -hmm. Do you mean there's dead bodies here? Not like a literal sarcophagus. Uh, around, around the, around I'm the just being swallow. metaphorical. What's it for? Encasement, confinement of something they were afraid of. Something new and unheard of on the Isola. I think that's what the crab man is experiencing when he climbs around upstairs. Maybe the Ubies and the DeLoreans are the same people. Maybe. People in the comments, if you know. Gives us gives us the download, if you don't oh. mind. Like, this is some old world shit the Ubies had heard about. I thought the best way to deal with it was to build a church surrounding it to contain it. I don't get it. Contain what exactly? I don't know. 
And it's not something they properly understood either. What it does. But it's what this sonar person is looking for. And trying to measure. Hmm. It'll be fruitless though. She won't be able to measure it. People like that always want to measure everything. All those things they really can't. Hmm. The wood creaks as a gale blows by. Outside. Dust particles fall through the darkness. Settling down on the age-bleached floorboards. The structure does not feel particularly durable. What makes you think Suna's going to fail? Seems to be the trend around here, doesn't it? You True. can't measure shit like this. It's not like substance. Yeah, it's interesting though, because I feel like um and with a with a Suna or Sona, uh can or will succeed is not necessarily the same thing as whether it's theoretically possible, right? Because she's she's got mm. one speciality. But if you think about like when physicists try to measure things that have no substance, like dark matter. Mm. Uh, oh well, uh, you say no substance, but like no substance that we are aware of. Yeah, like the the trying to figure it out trying to trying to measure it is just as much about trying to understand it as the measurement and discovery as well right like mm. like if they can figure out how to measure it then they understand more about what it's its substance or lack thereof is and means right potentially yeah yeah I mean, I'm a big fan of of not everything has to be measured, and some things are just vibes. But mm. um, I also don't object to the concept of trying to measure things. Mm. If that makes sense. I like. I found a doomed commercial area in Martinez proper. Maybe it's the same thing that we were trying to contain. Like a concentric ring spreading out the struggling villages. Mm. And that is what caused the communards to fail in defending the beachhead. Yeah, a lot of failure has gone down around here. You think there's any merit to the theory? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. It's not a thing we can answer, cop man. Even I have limits. I'm a limited psi person. <laughs> um... I guess I'll say this. Mm. This building seems less than structurally sound. No. It's pretty fucking unsound, if you ask me. <laughs> they should have built a club for anodic music around it instead. Congrats. <laughs> anodic music will definitely contain whatever we're dealing with. His words echo in the chamber. I hope so, mate. And if it can't, well... You're all fucked anyway. Yep. Well, if it's without substance, I guess there's nothing to worry about. Maybe you can figure things out, cop man. I think we got on a good level here. The signs are syncing up well. Yes. Um, should we ask about the clothes? What's with the clothes? They're hardcore. Oh, I don't like the top one. No. You can wear whatever the fuck he wants. That's it? They're just clothes. Okay. Oh, I thought there'd be more to it. It's just a style, you know, normal hard style. Anyone can wear it. Good, nice. Okay. Uh, should we stop there with him? Or should we ask this top one? Uh, well, because we kind of, that's digging further into something we've asked before, right? But what about three? Why are you so suspicious about everything? Suspicious people are esoteric people. We don't go around spilling everything to Johnny Law. They don't call me Noid for nothing. Okay. It took us setting out for this whole enterprise to get our signs synced. Why are you called Noid? It's short for paranoid. Oh. <laughs> what are you suspicious of? Uh, it'd be easier to list stuff I'm not suspicious of. I'm not suspicious of sand and colour. Hmm. Mechanics and chemistry also have a trueness about them. Most anything else deceives. Wants to steal your life away. Mm. This is a good, dangerous line of questioning. You should prod him on. And what are the most suspicious things? I don't have a top ten list of things I'm most suspicious of, but if I had one, the left-right complex would be number one. Number two would be their sole accomplishment, the pig-wheat paradigm. 
<laughs> What's suspicious about the production of pork and wheat? It's our only shit. We should make better use of not being animals or cereal grain ourselves. Mmm. What? What's bad about... Okay, yeah, yeah. What's bad about cereal grain? Having enough food would be a precursor for greater things. Oh. What do you want to say? Yeah, dig into one of the top two yes, ones. Yes, having food is means to an end. But the left never talks about the end, only the means. Caps are likewise suckers, constantly sleepless in worry. Mm. Tell me more about the left-right business. I prefer not to. Both ask the wrong questions. Any mm. spark of light from either one is accidental. Their combined movement's only concern is producing enough pig and wheat for everyone. The end goal of humanity. I don't know if I agree with that. The original mistake was assuming that words have more being than bodies. That's what led us astray, far from our true lives. But we may yet find a way back. Whatever this true life is, you feel it's the real centerpiece of this mythology. Yeah, I kind of feel like when people talk about going back to something, you kind of have to question what their conception of that is. Yeah. And I think, like... Listen to it. I do think his point, like, the left and the right both ask the wrong questions has, has some crowns. Hmm. But I also feel like... I've been thinking about this a lot lately because of the war in Palestine. And... Hang on. I really hate when people say the war in Palestine. I thought you the, said the war on Palestine, and I thought, yeah. Um, I mean, the Israeli genocide of Palestine. Mm -mm. Um, because you think about how when people do terrible things, they justify them to themselves. Mm. And I know, to me, I really struggle with, like, the the kind of cycle of, like... Like, in my head, I kind of go... Like, I'm not a philosophy expert, and I know some people have gone into this in greater detail, but I don't know a lot about it. But it's like, someone's doing bad things, like genocide. Mm. And so I should try to stop them from doing that. Mm. But then those people are like... Do, I'm, try, I'm not explaining this very well. Let's say let's say the example's not as extreme as genocide. Okay. Let's say the example is here we go. Um as you know that's a bad example too. Um banning books. Banning books. All right. People are doing a whole lot of stuff in the states at the moment to ban books about like sexuality and queerness and trans things. Mm -mm -mm. Um purity culture, right? And so I'm like, I think that's bad. I think it's really bad to ban books, and I think it's really important that young people have access to stuff. But they're on the other side of that saying, I think it's really bad for young people to have access to much of this stuff because I think it's important that we preserve the innocence, I guess, or whatever. That's of, what their argument is. That's their argument. My argument and their argument are opposed to each other, and I think they're doing something wrong, and so they should be stopped. And they think I'm doing something wrong, and so I should be stopped. Mm. And so it's kind of like... I've been thinking about that a lot with the whole Palestine thing because, like, we're... It just seems so objectively wrong to commit genocide. Mm. <laughs> that how can there be this huge group of people who think that it's justified? Mm. Um, and where does my right to stop them because they're doing something wrong? How is that... How is that the right thing to do and their thing that they think is the right thing to do. How do I have the moral high ground when they think they have the high, high moral I mean, ground? like, the fact that you're not committing genocide and murdering people, I think, gives you the moral high ground. You know, with that sort of, that, 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 that's kind of like... Yeah, and, and that's kind of what we're, where my spiralling thoughts have, have kind of come to, of, like, you kind of need some... And this is what the International Criminal Court exists for, right? It's mm. like, you need some bottom lines. Bombing bombing children is a pretty good 
bottom line. Yeah, I mean, we've had this conversation before, which is like, if you are lighting people on fire, or bombing children in this case, like... Exactly! Yeah, you, that's a very it's, good indication that you're not That's kind of one of those person. things that if you're thinking about lighting people on fire, or are lighting people on fire, you probably have crossed the line. <laughs> And bombing children is kind of the same, right? It is the same. It has crossed the line. <laughs> and so I guess, where does this all come back to the video game we're playing know, right where, now? Where, where did this come I, from? Where I are we think, going? I think, I think, uh, I think in general, people who are on the left think the same way, not always, but in general, think the same way as we do, where we're like, Like, things like putting children in prison at borders is a bad thing to do. And so we shouldn't do that. And yeah. so it's not just arbitrary, the difference between right and left. It's not just pig and wheat. There is some moral baseline in the mix here. Yeah, and I sort of think about... <sighs> I feel that, the, and, and I, compl you know, I'm just sort of thinking about this off the top of my head. It's not extremely well thought out, but I think there is this. You're right. Um, like we want to focus on people's well-being, right? As opposed, in, in opposition to kind of like upholding like laws and structures and structures yeah. of power. Yeah. Um, uh, which, uh, I don't know, uh, are benefiting people, which are kind of, that's what it feels like, but I'm sure that people on the other side don't feel that that's what they're doing. Yes. I think, but that's what I they think, are doing. I think from growing up in a very conservative environment, I can tell you that how they feel is that right and wrong are, are feelings and they're based on our morals that we inherit from our history. Hmm. Well, at least that's my impression of what hmm. it was like growing up in that environment. And okay. so they were like, there are things that are wrong and there are things that are right. And we are standing up for the things that are right. Whereas I think when, both for both of us, probably more for me than you, because you didn't grow up in a, a, a conservative environment. Hmm. Like the experience of going to university and having people explain how A plus B equals C and like, be like, this is the evidence. This is the this is the first hand accounts of what it's like to live in this environment and how that affects you as a person and mm. how these structural inequities have blocked people from being able to live happy and healthy lives. Mm. That's that shifted my views because I was like, oh, this is the evidence. It doesn't matter what the feelings are, because those feelings aren't based on the truth. No. Although we're we getting sort of dangerously close to like um, your f that that uh, irrelevant argument, which is like facts don't care about your feelings, right? Which when pe when people are misusing. Facts. Sure, yeah, that's not the that's not the conversation we're no, having. No, here. no, no. But I, I just want to sort of throw it out there that it's so that's sometimes what people say when they're like saying that you know it doesn't matter about feelings because I yeah. That's yeah. not what we're talking about. No. But uh, yeah, I just, I just, um, I mean, and, and that's again why so many people on the right are against people going to universities because they're like, universities are all these life, these bastions of left wing. And it's like, yeah, it's because it's based on. If it just so happens evidence. that like a rational argument supports a, what you consider to be a left position. That's not left and right. That's just where the, that's where the rational argument <laughs> where we're, lies. Where we're following the evidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to say that everyone at a university is left wing, left wing but... leading. But anyway, that was a massive derail. But I know you guys don't mind us derailing into mm. random bloody blah. So anyway, and you know, uh, like we just we just like shooting the shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just t interesting talking to Noid, who's who's so clear on why he thinks things. Mm. Uh, do we want to say this? I don't think so, because no. I don't think he is. I don't think he's mentally ill. Well, I mean, he might be, but that doesn't have anything to do with his ability to make sound j judgments. Absolutely, yeah. Well, that was certainly stimulating. I want to ask you something else now. His eyes flicker. We're actually probably out of time to talk about anything uh. else. Um, 
Should we just ask that last one? You mentioned yeah. true life. What would that be like? I'm just going to close the doors. A life is true if it's free right? from fear. Yeah, an eternal division among mm. oneself. Sorry. And others, mankind, there's seeds of greatness in it. A germinal will come, a return to trueness. It will be hardcore. Okay, so we've got two options, which would be how would you go about returning to this true life? Or good to know, tell me something. Well, we want to know more, I think. Right? So, um... Let's ask, how would you go about returning to this true life? Beats and bright lights to <laughs> shatter falsehoods. Nerve impulses for the collective body. We are very much alike in basic structure. An odd enough beat would awaken everyone to a truer calling. In unity. You know, if there was a massive anodic dance festival for the world, <laughs> They were like, let's get into unity. Let's just try it. Let's just everybody at the like same the time. Like the whole world. Let's do a nodic. Let's do an anodic, like dance festival. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you like a couple of hours. <laughs> it's interesting to me about how like you know like a life is true if it's free from fear and internal division amongst oneself. That that you know like I can see the logic there, and I think that's why like a, a fundamental for a lot of like Buddhist belief and mm. stuff like that. But I really, then the jump to lights and dancing and sound. I love it. No, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm glad it. that that feels true for you, but I don't think that but, would. <laughs> let me just throw out this like completely farcical situation again. Which okay. Is like, okay. Would you? If someone were like, yeah. let's do a massive anodic dance festival across the entire world. Right? Okay. You'd be like, fuck you, yeah, I'll go on the street and just dance for an hour or so. Like, sure. Yes. It's like uh, Give the, it a go. Um, the. Uh, the the dancing disease I've told you about that before, eh? Oh yeah, that like swept across Europe where everyone mm. started dancing and some people dance themselves to death. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in. Just <laughs> like that, the speed freak is right in your face, his eyes burning. His comrades look on worriedly. I think he's alright. It's fine. The young man is dead serious about this. So you're advocating a noise-based society? Many non-Occidental cultures share a beat at their art. Thus, they are closer to true, hardcore life. There's just never been enough of them, and they had to rely on some extremely basic percussion. Okay, you keep mentioning hardcore. What does it mean to you? Noid, you've really lost me here, mate. Yeah, but, but let, let's keep going in. Let's dig. Utmost dedication. Thoughts from the spinal cord, spinal cord is a potent us. superlative as well. That's true. Mm. Egghead usually has a better concept of the hardcore. He just really likes saying hardcore. Mm. Is he going to interject? Hardcore! Oh, yes! Yes. <laughs> as Fiend shouts from behind the mix table with a smile surpassing your own in wideness. A total moon face and eyes full of naive wonderment. Uh... Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Happy to help. <laughs> All right. Let's change the oh, subject. Yeah. Sure Ooh. thing. <gasps> so, it's a white chick, so we may as well. All right. Internalize the hardcore aesthetic. Don't just know long, really feel it. Dedicated, yes. hyperactive, unified. You will have to add something of your own to understand this <laughs> list of loosely formed qualities called hardcore. You need your yeah. own. I know, I know. <laughs> Holy shit. We said to each other we finished playing by nine our time, which is it's 8.59, and now I'm like, no! We've opened up all these things! I know. Um Uh let's 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 read through them first, right? Hard people, hard republic, hard sell, hard party, hard riot, hard government, core membership, core secretary, core teachings, core fighters. And then we have long live the world that gave shape to hardcore to complete itself. A true heir to DeLorean values. Three and a half centuries and the gift still keeps on giving. I don't like that one. Um, I've got the money. I've got the place. You've got the figure. You've got the face. Let's get together. We're jumping all over the world. Okay. We have... See the sunshine. We ain't stopping. Keep on dancing till the world ends. Mm, it feels like a very apocalypse cop. Mm. Um, you know, it feels unfair. There's a party everywhere. Okay. I want to say this one. Yeah. To the sunshine. If you fear it, let <gasps> it happen. Keep on dancing till the world ends. Okay. Take care, Noi. I thought we'd have to go through all of those. I so, thought so too, um, but... Take care, Noi. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's, that that's was actually it. perfect. It was perfect. 
Um, oh, it's nine o'clock on the dot. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I just want to see what this is. Um, <laughs> we get a minus two research bonus while we're doing it. Fuck grammar. And not only have you internalized the hardcore aesthetic, you've also contributed to it. How hard a core could you possibly become? Local people come around you and correct your typos. It's hardcore here, hardcore there, hard or core in a third instant. What's going on? These aren't typos, man. That's how core hardness works. <laughs> if you don't know hardcore from our happy hardcore, what the fuck are we even talking about? Oh my gosh, I'm so keen. Let's, let's, let's. Like, let's just figure this out later. But, okay, if any of um, you guys have a suggestion of which of these thoughts we should take off in order to internalize the hardcore aesthetic, I'm going to be <laughs> interested your, on your opinions. Mm. I mean, at some point, we might just have to do them in the next... Yeah, we can't do them all. I'm yeah. just going to leave the church next because I, I like... The music gets to me after a while. Although it is much more interesting now than it was originally. Mm. All right, well, we're going to leave it there. Um, it was fun. That was fun. I'm glad we got into that. Mm. Um, so next episode, I reckon we'll probably do a, have a little wander around on the, the thing to try and find the um, this. Oh, that's a good The idea. boardwalk for bullet yeah. tracers. And then hopefully it'll be time for confronting the pigs. Yeah. All right, friends. Um, I know I need to stretch, so gently stretch your bodies. Move gently. Mm. And, um... Hey, look! Ooh. Superstar Cop. Somehow yes. we got seven in there. And we've got all of three in Apocalypse Cop. Amazing. So good. We're still such a sorry cop. Look. look. And we're more of a communist now than a moralist, even though we, we are on the moralist route. Playthrough, yeah. I guess. Okay. Good. All right, friends. Move your body. We'll catch you next time. See you then! Bye!